So the goal is with microbiota therapies is to change what is called the inflammatory microbiota to one that is not only non-inflammatory, but is also resilient to uh, negative influences and that might make it become inflammatory again. And here are some of the key discoveries uh, and characteristics that, uh, that we have discovered in the field. I, I mentioned that there's hundreds of species in the microbiota. What happens uh, in an inflamed gut is that this number of species becomes much smaller. So the lower diversity means that not only these microbes make fewer compounds, but also they're less resilient against invasion. Here you can really think about it uh, at the, from a perspective of an ecosystem at the macro scale. If you have a forest in which you've decimated uh, a lot of the native trees, there, it's going to be much more susceptible to uh, uh, any type of uh, infection or any type of invasion by other uh, species. Here, the other word it, uh, two words that you see is facultative anaerobes, and these are increased. These are bacteria that uh, are able to tolerate oxygen. Oxygen is something that is not normally present in the gut. The gut is actually anaerobic, meaning that it doesn't have any oxygen, and this is a normal and non-inflamed state. What happens during inflammation is that uh, the gut uh, produces a lot of oxygen, and this makes it through the gut from the intestinal tissue. So these facultative anaerobes are bacteria and microbes and in general are able to tolerate the oxygen. And these are microbes that also tend to sometimes promote this inflammation because they're trying to foster their own growth. The goal here now with microbiome therapy is to lead the system to have fewer of these facultative anaerobes and to really encourage the growth of the anaerobes meaning that these are the oxygen tolerant species. These are the species that tend to be very good at fermenting fiber and uh, that produce uh, compounds that actually reduce inflammation. 